It appears that the marauding gunmen who have held Viewfort captive for four years with the episodic bouts of gun violence in a long-running turf war are now training their weapons on innocent bystanders and relatives. More lives were lost on Friday night and Saturday morning following the eruption of deadly gunfire on Thursday when three people were killed in the span of two hours. Police have confirmed that two men were shot dead on Friday evening. 59-year-old Sylvanus Joseph, also known as Seaboy, and 52-year-old Dexter Vitalis, alias Marianne, were shot dead at Westside at about 6.30 p.m. I said, how much shot burst in this? I went in my house, of course. When I went in my house, I more guns were um, gunshots again burst in here. Yeah, when I go outside there, I think it's my old man they kill there. You understand? So I said, and we'd have no trouble here. If nobody, we'd have no gun here. We are alone that day, alone by ourselves. We are at the west side alone. We'd have, we'd have no trouble with nobody. The two were mere feet from each other. Several spent shells were found at the scene. They were simply having a Friday night drink in the open air when their lives were taken with impunity. And we'd have no trouble with nobody. The, the, the little people are there drinking the rum and enjoying the, One drinking rum, one not drinking, and they're enjoying the cell rather. So what do you think about the whole situation in people right now? Gata, it's not good, it's very bad, Gata, right now. It's, it's family and innocent people that are dying, innocent because of stupidness, Gata. Concerned citizens say these victims were no violent offenders, but mild-mannered middle-aged members of the community. The newsman, what I could tell you, they are very honest men. They are honest fellas, very honest with everybody in the neighborhood. They are no violent youth. Or say they are out of order to disrespect anybody in this neighborhood who says they reach the west side. They are very honest men. And what happened tonight there is unnecessary. That's all I can say. We, we, we go for them or with their families. It's not right. About two hours later, at around 8.30 p.m., 43-year-old Marcus Shalry of Bruceville was fatally shot, sustaining wounds to the neck, back and the shoulder. The sound of more gunfire would crack the air at the first blush of light Saturday with the neighborhood tailor the target of gunmen as the territorial battles on the narrow slither of land take on a more disturbing dimension. Eldra, a well-known senior citizen, is shocked at the murder of her younger brother, Eustace Dada Roland. I don't think Dada doing anybody nothing. Dada, Dada is with everybody. He have his own way. He's a kind of hard temper person, but he's not doing nobody nothing. I don't know why they had to kill him. Because he's not in no gang, nothing. But he's living there in the area there. So I don't know why. What is, what is his profession? A tailor. He's a tailor up by, just by the old, um, in primary school there. The streets of Viewfort now unfortunately resemble a ghost town and conflict zone with police officers in camouflage, fatigues and tactical gear running 24-hour patrols to keep the peace as the hunt for the perpetrators of violence pick up. Some businesses have decided to stay closed, while citizens have opted not to venture out for fear of retribution at the hands of the killers who have seemingly turned on the community simply based on a dress code. Joachim de Placy, HTS News Force.